Now, a proportion is two equal ratios. The fastest way to check to see if a proportion is actually true is what we call cross-multiplication. I'm going to multiply the top of one fraction times the bottom of the other. Two times six is 12. Then I'm also going to multiply the bottom times the top, opposite of what I did, and three times four is 12, excuse me. So I know that this is a correct proportion. Okay, the way I often set them up is in what I call the grid, where I have the two and the three, the four and the six. And I am going to multiply the two times six gives me the 12. Likewise, the three times four also gives me the 12. Now, setting it up where sometimes I don't know all four. In fact, most of the time, I'm not going to know all four. So let's say I know the two and the three, and I don't know what this number is, but I know the six. Okay, now notice here, I would multiply the two times six, and then I will have to divide by the three. So two times six is my 12, and then divided by three ends up with the four. So my unknown piece was the four, which of course I already knew for this problem. Let's do a little bit of practice with these. What I've got on this, I would normally set up into my grid. Make sure that you've got the equal sign because that tells you you have a proportion. So I have n, 3, 10, and 5. So now I am going to cross multiply. I multiply the two I can. So I've got 3 times 10. And then I'm going to divide by the 5. So 3 times 10 is 30. Divided by 5 is 6. Okay. Likewise down here. I'm going to set it up into my grid. So I've got 15, 5, 9, and D. I'm going to cross multiply. I multiply the two I can, and I divide by the third. So I've got 9 times 5 is 45. Divided by the 15 is equal to 3. So 3 is the number that I'm looking for.